Hello all, welcome to an another session on Practice Selenium Java Automation here training series. As part of this session, I am going to automate the instructions given on this wait page of late code application. So how to come to this page first of all, okay? When you go to the late code application, when you are on the home page, just click on the workspace, scroll down, and here somewhere you will see something known as uh, weights, okay? This weight section, click on this uh, timeout kind of option, you'll be taken to this weights, okay? So what I want to do here is, I want to automate this, okay? I want to automate this, whatever the instructions are given on this, I would like to automate that, okay? So first I will start with accept the alert. I just need to accept the alert, guys, okay? I, how to get the alert? First of all, I have to click on this button and the alert will come. Once the alert comes, I have to accept the alert. This is what is the requirement. Simple requirement, guys, nothing more, okay? I just have to click on this button. I have to click on the OK button on the displayed alert. On the displayed alert, uh, whatever the OK button is there, if you want to retrieve this particular text, you can retrieve that and select OK also. That's also fine. So, guys, let's get started with automating this particular uh, alerts, okay? For that, I'll switch to the Eclipse ID here in the let code, uh, let code practice package. I'll create a new class. I'll just name this class as uh, I'll just name this uh, class as uh, something that is uh, alert, right? Wait for alerts. Wait for alerts demo. Okay, click on main method. Inside the main method, you write the code. Okay, you write the code here. Write from the code like this, web driver, driver is equal to new, Chrome driver. Web driver, driver is equal to new, count on Chrome driver, and click on control shift O, then simply say driver dot, manage dot window dot maximize. Then say driver dot get, and here in the double quotes, provide this page URL, application page URL, where we have this particular button, which is displaying an alert, where we have to click OK button on that alert, okay? So provide that. Now, if you want to get the alert, first I have to click on this button. So I'll right click on this button and select this inspect option. The HTML code, which is uh, related to that particular button will be displayed here in the elements tab of this uh, Chrome DevTools, okay? So this is HTML code. You see it has an ID. So copy the ID. I can use ID locator for locating this button here. Simply I'll come back here and simply write down driver dot find element by dot provide the ID locator. Provide the ID locator there. Put a semicolon here. For the more on this find elements, it will return you the web element of that particular button. So simple alert button. What is, what is the name of the button? Simple alert button. And hover the mouse on this and say create local variable. Web element will be created. Now simply say simple alert button. Simple alert button dot click. Just say click guys. Okay. The moment you say click means what will happen? The alert will come. Okay. Alert will come. Let's say alert has come. So by default, the focus of the selenium will be on this page, guys. It, it will not be on this alert, okay? So when the alert comes, you cannot perform any other operation on the page, you see? When the alert has come, you try to click on anything on this page, nothing will happen, guys, okay? So the focus is there on this particular alert. It is JavaScript alert. And on the top of that is it is an asynchronous. Without the page loading, this alert is coming. You see, when I click on this button, let me go back. I just clicked on something. So I'll just go to the let code again. I'll go to the page. When I click on that particular button on that alert page uh, here, somewhere here we have the alert, right? Just go here. When I click on this particular button, observe that before clicking the button, just observe this page, whether the page is loading or not for displaying this alert, just see. When I click on the button, without the page getting loaded, without the page getting loaded, the alert is coming. That means it's not synchronous. With the page loading, if the elements are coming with, they are synchronous. With the, without the page loading, if that something is coming on the page, not only alert, if any other thing is coming on the web page, without the page getting loaded on performing some actions on the pages, that kind of things fall into the asynchronous. And on the top of that, this is an alert, guys, okay? So it is something like this, guys, okay? It's something like this. Let me explain. So this is your page. When you say 
uh, web driver driver is called chrome driver driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get open this application url what will happen here selenium will get the focus onto this page okay that you have opened in the selenium focus will be there on this page selenium focus will be there on this page guys okay when the alert has come uh, i mean before the alert came the selenium focus is on this weights page this is a weight page right on the weight page selenium focus is there on the this is weight page okay weight page now on this weight page there was a button the moment you click on the button an alert has come okay an alert has been displayed on the page this alert is not part of the page this alert is not part of the page how can i say that this particular alert is not part of this page very simple way guys to see whether the particular alert is part of the page or not click on this asynchronous way some javascript alert is coming with a delay as you can clearly see now if i right click here i'll not get an inspect option you see for all the elements which belong to the page if i right click here i'll get this right click inspect options here for this to do also i'm getting inspect option for this accept the alert also i'm getting some inspect option if this inside is there let's say inspect option is coming whatever the section is this watch tutorial also inspect option is coming but when i click on this button in an asynchronous way without syncing with the page or without the page loading an alert is displaying with some delay we can clearly say there is some delay in displaying this alert on the top of that this alert is not part of the same web page this alert is not part of the same web page because when you right click here inspect option you cannot inspect this okay button if you have to accept the alert you have to click on the okay button right but when you right click on the okay button i'm trying to right click because no right click options are coming here okay at least here some right click options are coming but inspect option is not coming so this is the text that is displayed on the alert and uh, this is the button so what happens here is this alert is not part of the page in order to handle such kind of alerts selenium has given a command okay that is the initial focus of the selenium is there on this web page selenium focus is there here on the web wait page now i have to take the selenium focus from here to the alert how to take the focus of the selenium from this page to the alert how to take the focus of the selenium from this page to the alert for that there is a command guys that is driver dot after you click on the button driver dot switch to command dot alert you write okay alert command you write fine driver dot switch to dot alert this alert method will return you alert interface object okay here say alert is equal to the return type of this alert will be declared for this alert object reference so alert will be there now here i'll write down here after switch after switching to the alert we got this object reference of the alert interface and by using that alert alert dot alert dot let's say uh, apart from the instructions given here only some instructions are given there to i have to accept the alert but i want to take, get this particular text finally i am here just to say hi text i want to retrieve and print for that how to get that particular text guys how to get that particular text here i have to write down alert dot get a text there is a get text this is not the get text command of the web element rather it is a get text predefined method of the alert interface guys this will retrieve the text that is there on the page uh, this, this will retrieve the text that is there on the alert okay whatever the alert that has been displayed with some text right that particular text can be retrieved with the help of this get text method of this alert interface this this get text method and web elements get text method both are different guys this get text will get the text that is displayed on the alert okay this is a predefined method of the alert interface which will get the retrieve the text from the uh, displayed on the alert okay so string i'll write down text on alert is equal to text on alert is equal to okay now i'll print out the text system dot out dot print and text on alert after retrieving the text on the alert i would like to accept the alert guys i would like to accept the alert accepting means accept the alert means you have to select okay button we cannot inspect this so to accept also we have to use the object reference of the alert interface here and simply write down dot accept command will be there that's it okay i'm retrieving the text on the alert and i'm accepting the alert okay two things are done two things are done okay i'm accepting the alert so once you accept the alert alert should be gone and uh, what i want to do is i want to get this particular uh, you know text on this uh, heading of this page okay i would like to get the heading of this page let's say okay inspect this after the alert is gone i want to get the text of this alert uh, waiting page so here what is there h1 tag is there control f double okay h1 i have to resize this okay h1 if i write this only one element is coming that uh, particular uh, has some weight uh, text that that is nothing but the page heading i would like to get the page heading guys so how to get the page heading here driver dot after accepting the alert i can perform the operations on the page so i'll say driver dot find element by dot x path i'll provide the x path of the or by dot tag name also you can use for only h1 right 
So X bar is called double slash H1 or tag name of H1 you can write. So put a semicolon, this is page heading. Page heading. After accepting the alert, I would like to get the page heading. Okay, I would like to get the page heading and simply write down uh, page heading dot get text. You see, this get text command is different, guys. This get text command doesn't belong to the alert, whatever I'm using here, page uh, heading dot get text. This, this get text command and this get text command somehow matches, but uh, this get text command is from the alert interface, whereas this get text command is from the page heading web element, okay? Page heading web element. So this is the page heading. So page heading text will come here. Page heading, G-A-D-I-N-G, text. Page heading text is equal to, I'll hold the mouse on this and create a local variable. The return type string will be there. I would like to print out the heading of the page. Page heading text, okay? Now, finally, after printing the page heading text, I would like to feed the browser. This is what is the script I would like to write, guys, okay? Let's see what is happening. Let's see what is happening, whether this script will work or not. Let's see. I will say that script is not going to work. Okay. There's a problem here. In this script, there is a problem. It will successfully open the Chrome browser without any problem. It will maximize the browser. It will open this application URL in the browser. That also will happen. After that, it's going to click on this simple alert button also here. Whatever the simple alert button is there, it will also click. But here, the next thing is driver dot switch to alert. At the time, the Selenium is trying to switch to the alert the alert won't be present guys, okay? After clicking on the button, alert is not immediately present here. We are simply saying driver dot switch to alert by the time alert has not come, okay? When the Selenium is very fast, right? The moment it clicks on the button, it accepts the alert. It expects the alert here and if the alert is not there, no such alert present kind of exception will come guys, okay? No such alert present kind of exception will come. So we'll run this and see whether in the 20th line we are getting an exception. I'm just expecting 20th line, some exception guys regarding the alert. By that time, Selenium finds tries to find the alert. Alert won't be on the page because alert, as you can see, is coming in an asynchronous way with a delay. Okay, with a delay, it's coming. After you click on the button, alert is not immediately coming, guys. With some delay in an asynchronous manner, without the page getting loaded, it's coming. So Selenium has to wait. You see, uh, by this time, the alert has not come. Okay, the alert has come here, but uh, Selenium would have, you know, it has not accepted the alert because the exception already has come. That is whatever the exception I told you, no alert present exception, no such alert. Okay. No alert present exception has come guys. Why no alert, uh, no alert present exception has come here with this message, no such alert because when the Selenium was looking for the alert, trying to switch to the alert, alert was not there on the page. So how to overcome this problem? This is an asynchronous way. The alert is coming without the page getting loaded. And also this alert is coming with a delay. It's better to explicitly wait for the alert to be displayed. And then you have to switch to the alert. Otherwise you will get no alert present exception. So how to explicitly wait for this alert for that? We have to write this code web driver wait, wait is equal to new web driver, new web driver wait. Like this, you have to write the code guys. Okay. Web driver wait, wait is equal to new web driver wait. Hold the mouse on this web driver wait and import this wait from selenium library and here the constructor cannot be empty okay here you have to pass driver comma duration dot of seconds okay and give you know uh, 30 seconds max if the alert comes within 30 seconds it will not wait for the entire time though so okay wait dot until here i'll write wait dot until object reference of the web driver wait dot until expected conditions expected conditions dot alert is present until the alert is present the selenium will wait for a maximum of 30 seconds after 30 seconds of also if the alert is not coming then the exception will come no alert present exception will come but if the alert comes within 30 seconds within 30 seconds then selenium will definitely wait for the alert to be displayed on the page then only it will try to switch to the alert and then we'll get the text from the alert text displayed on the alert and it would like to accept the alert and uh, after that uh, after the accepting of the alert it will retrieve the uh, it will it will retrieve the page heading okay after the alert is gone it will retrieve the page heading of the page okay run this code and see whether that is happening or not let's run this code we have switched to the alert and also we have waited for the alert to be present then we have switched to the alert okay once the alert is present only we are switching to the alert in this case okay that was the problem in the last case so let's see what will happen here okay as when there it will wait for the page to load after that it will click on that button it will wait for the alert to be displayed. You see, it has retrieved the text that is there on the alert. It has expect, act, act. you see, this is the text that is displayed on the alert using the get text command of the alert interface. It has retrieved 
after that it has accepted the alert the alert is gone and then it has retrieve since alert is not there it can retrieve the page heading of the page but what is a good practice is after accepting the alert if this is still working also it's better to write like this page, okay as a best practice driver dot six to dot default content whether the alert is there or not whether the alert is gone or not it's better to switch to the page level back because from the page you are switching to the alert using driver dot switch to alert command so after the alert is gone it's a good practice to switch to the default content this may not be required it may work in most of the cases but if you write this we are pretty confident that after the after the accepting of the alert only the page will be left out it's better as a good practice we are switching back to the page and performing the operations on the page okay so because the focus has gone from the page level to the alert once the alert is gone by default it may come uh, the focus may come back to the page but it's better that you switch back to the page level even though the focus is there on the page back to the page or doesn't matter just switch to the default content so that uh, whatever the matter whatever the reason the focus will come to the page level and uh, once the focus comes to the page level okay we'll get the text on the alert and uh, you know you'll get the text from the alert and we'll accept the alert and uh, i mean once the accepted alert it the focus will go to the page level and we'll get the page heading okay we'll retrieve the page heading or whatever the operations you want to do on the page you can do going ahead and after that finally up we'll quit the browser okay so this is ultimate uh, code guys this is the ultimate code so you see switching back to the parent uh, page once the alert is gone is a good practice okay run this code and see whether that is happening or not i'll just run the code and see whether that is happening or not Let's see what is happening. It clicked on that, accept the alert, retrieve the text on the alert, retrieve the page, switch it to the page, and then got the page heading of the page, and then has finally closed the page also without any problems. So this is how we have to wait for the alerts. If the alerts are coming with a delay, whether they are not coming there, anyhow, yes, synchronous activities, guys, it's better that we implement this waiting mechanism for waiting for explicitly waiting for the alert okay if the alert comes with a delay or doesn't come with a delay also it's better it's a good practice is to wait for the alert to be present on the page then only you try to perform the operations on the alert guys okay so that is a good practice so this is the code guys this is the code uh, for uh, this automation challenge of this particular website uh, you know where uh, you see on completion of this exercise you can learn the following expected conditions we implemented for waiting for the alert to be present on the page after waiting for the alert, we have written, they only say to accept the alert, but also I have made one more thing like, you know, I have retrieved the text that is displayed on the alert. And then we have accepted the uh, um, alert. And then after that, I have done some more extra thing where I have retrieved the page heading of this page to see whether the focus has come back from the page, uh, alert to the page level or not. If it's a good practice that you can use driver dot switch to dot default content to get the thing stamp. Okay. So with this note, guys, we are done with the challenge uh, automation, automation challenge of automating this particular uh, page level challenge for alerts and waiting mechanism together. So yeah, that's all for this uh, session on practice Selenium Java automation here series. Uh, along with this uh, session, you also watch my previous sessions that I have used for automating different websites and different challenges I covered there. So go back to that, uh, you know, go back to that previous uh, sessions uh, of this series, practice Selenium Java automation here series, and also watch this series if uh, required multiple times, so that you'll get a confidence on how to automate different things on different websites, so that in real time, when you come across this kind of challenges, you will be ready to face them using Selenium Java automation. So that's all for this session. See you in the next uh, practice Selenium Java automation here series video. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.